When a tornado is in the vicinity, normal people tend to seek shelter. Others try to catch a glimpse of the rare spectacle. For some storm chasers, the closer they get, the better. But why the hell would anybody risk everything to witness something so formidable so close? Is it all just for social network boasting and media hype? Look at that. Is it for science or for money? Is it rooted in pure fascination and curiosity or just plain stupidity? Over the last couple decades, I've had numerous opportunities and incentives to dare up-close photography of tornadoes. More than once, I was lucky to escape with my life. Shaking the car. Shaking the car. In this video, we're going to explore close intercepts with tornadoes and the driving incentives to cross that line in the wind. All it is. Defining close and too close. These are my top 10 up close tornado encounters. All right, here we go. Showtime. You're a storm chaser on a paved road in the middle of nowhere with an unobstructed view of a tornado forming right in front of you. How close would you get? That's what we came to see. For the daredevil chasers, it's a competition who can get the closest. Oh, get as close as they can. From the front row, the vortices of whirling dust is pretty neat. But if you get too close, you often sabotage the most spectacular view. Oh God, you should see up this thing. Sometimes things blocking your view, trees, ridges, and ditches, lure storm chasers in closer for that sweet, clear shot. There should be a tornado on the ground once we get in front of these trees. I'm following it. I should have stopped right there. I could just get over this hill, just get over this hill. Again here, we're following a developing tornado, but this time it decides to back up right in front of us. Might need to back up. Back up. Come on, car, go. Couple weeks a year, I join a three vehicle scientific field operations team. Applying photogrammetry, our objective is to collect the tornado wind field data that slips under the radar. For this, our cameras need to be locked down and stable. All state of the north. The closer we get to tornadoes, the better the data. Almost time to roll.
of mind is when tornadoes approach too close, you have to run away. You can't get that stable, high quality primary camera footage like I prefer when you're hightailing it out of Dodge. All right, there should be coming. Sometimes chasers get too close to tornadoes because of reluctance to abandon your rare view of one of the most incredible shows on earth. So come out right for us. Stubbornly holding your post for just a little longer can turn into a deadly game of chicken. Tumbleweed. The tornado usually wins. Lower the tornado, the more the temptation to hold your ground with cameras rolling. Wow. Right there. Risking life and limb for these extraordinary moments has a monetary value. I was able to sell this footage to a TV show for $200. For the <laughs> After practically hand feeding this herbivorous tornado, it eventually moseyed on to greener pastures. There it goes. So far, we've been pretty close to some gorgeous EF-1 and EF-2 strength tornadoes, but getting up close to large, violent monsters like this substantially increases the risk. This tornado smells like death. Storms capable of producing a tornado this powerful are often accompanied by other tornadoes, sub vortices, and powerful winds capable of rolling or tossing your vehicle. 90 minute lifespan of this EF4 over a gridded road network offered numerous temptations to dare up close photography. We need to be ready for that thing to make a turn. After suddenly falling apart, Things got too close for comfort when the tornado suddenly re-intensified. I got too close. There could be a satellite in all this inflow. Yeah, way too close. That's suckers. Just getting warmed up. In May 2022, a large tornado was herding a few chasers up a paved road into a core of giant destructive hail. I'm going to run away. Damn. I hate about getting too close. To the east and west, dirt roads were quickly becoming muddy booby traps. tornado then creeped to the west, devilishly offering a daring passage south to a potentially safer and lesser of two evils. Do you trust it? Oh, here comes the hail. Yeah, we gotta go this way. Let's do that. Otherwise the hail's gonna destroy us in the path of this thing. Here's the RFD. We're gonna hit right here. To be strong. Do we want to do that? No, we don't want to do that. We do not want to do that. But we're going to do it.
All the close encounters in this video were carefully calculated. Except this one. In Texas. There it is. Big tornado. Wrapped in rain, a large tornado was tracking northeast toward a northbound road. Or so I thought. Big tornado. In the craziness of storm chasing, my tablet map unknowingly got skewed clockwise, leading me to believe I was on a less direct approach. In a mobile home or in a vehicle. To get my bearings, I drove up the view impairing ridge and realized I had positioned directly in the path of death incarnate. And Robert, it's coming. The okay. National Weather Service in Navarro okay. has issued a tornado warning okay. for Central Roberts County, fast. Central Hemphill County, Coming until fast. 8 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Coming fast. At 7.09 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a confirmed tornado was located 9 miles northwest of Cochran, moving northeast at 30 miles per hour. Number one presented all the opportunities that increase confidence to capture crazy close footage. Exceptional visibility in low precipitation with good paved escape routes all enabled me to document this incredible tornado incredibly close. That's close. say good judgment comes from experience, and a lot of that experience comes from bad judgment. I probably should have included in this video that really embarrassing time I became an ingredient in a tornado sandwich. It was a Friday the 13th back in 2012, and probably the closest I've ever come to being killed. But I made $200.